Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an awesome bike by Hemiway called the Zebra Step Through. Let's take a look. All right, so the box arrived undamaged, weighs about 100 pounds, thick cardboard, so it's really nicely uh, put together. Bike came with extra screws, a manual, which is easy to read, some uh, Allen keys, headlights, pedals, and your charger here. It's a two amp charger. At this point, you can see I really don't want to read the manual, so I'm going to try to do this on my own. Uh, I go ahead and put together the handlebars. It's with four Allen keys. Put on the front wheel, toolless design, so you just put the rod in and it screws right in. At this point, I'm testing out the brakes, and they are two piston brakes in the front and the rear, and they're hydraulic, so they are super powerful for the bike. At this point, put it together, really easy to do. Pumping up the tires, uh, you can pump them up to 30 PSI. I put in about 23. All right, so first we're gonna start off by turning on the bike, hold down the power button. Now let's go ahead and see what the speed is on the bike as it is locked. So we'll go ahead and we'll tilt it a little bit and we'll give it some throttle. All right, so we see there it's 20 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and unlock it. It's really, really simple. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press the plus and minus sign right over here. That's gonna bring you to this screen. We're gonna go ahead and press the minus and the I sign. Now it's gonna take us to this little screen where you gotta put in a code. To enter a command, you're gonna press the I. To go up and down is the plus and minus sign. So the code is gonna be 0510. So the only ones we have to adjust is the two middle ones. So we'll go ahead and click enter, up to five, enter, one, enter, enter. It's gonna ask us how big the tires are. It's a 26 inch bike, enter. It's on 32, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put it to the highest setting as possible. So we'll just go ahead and cycle through. Some bikes can go up to 40, some bikes can go up to, I believe, 90. So as high as possible. Go ahead and enter, enter, and let's lock it in by holding down the I button. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and test it out now. As you can see, we instantly got about five miles an hour. All right guys, let's talk features. The Hemiway Zebra features their newest second generation 750 watt gear hub motor with an upgraded inner ring. This motor is supposed to perform better and last longer than our last generation motor. It's apparent when it comes to equipping the bike with quality components, they spared no expense. They fitted the bike with 26 inch Kenda fat tires the bike is equipped with a seven speed gear shift system by Shimano. Many bikes at this price point will offer you cable brakes. They went ahead and put on 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes for the front and the rear. The mounted headlights is a nice touch. However, I didn't really feel like this was bright enough to see well in front of me. I feel like this light is mostly for others to see you. However, this is not a big deal as you can easily add a removable handlebar headlight. I myself am planning on mounting my Shredlights SL1000 to this bike. The seat is comfortable and adequate. 
The crank set is made out of durable aluminum. The tail light is paired up to your brake, so when you pull your front brake levers, not only will they cut power to the motor, but they will cause the brake lights to flash. I appreciate little details like this. The display is clear and easy to read. I'd also like to talk about the rear rack. This feels ultra durable and sturdy. I can easily see the bike being used as a multi-purpose bike for food deliveries. One of the most important components of an e-bike are battery size and quality. We have a removable 960 watt hour battery. They claim a range of up to 80 miles with pedal assist. A battery of this size shouldn't have any problems getting you at least 30 miles of straight throttle without pedal assist. You can always get a good idea of what kind of products you're buying depending on the warranty that the manufacturer offers. So the Hemingway comes with a two year manufacturer warranty. It's apparent that they're willing and able to stand behind their product. Uh, the bike is not new to market. It's been out for about two years now. And based on the research I've done and everything that I went through, it looks like they hold up very well. It's not uncommon to find these bikes with well over a thousand miles on them and they're still running strong. It's a minimal maintenance bike. Let's circle back to the top speed of this bike. Right out of the box, it comes doing 20 miles an hour on pedal assist. If you want to unlock it and you follow my instruction in the video, you can easily do 25 miles an hour. Let's talk about the weld marks on this bike, a very important detail when it comes to these. Uh, the welds all seem very, very well made. They claim a capacity of 400 pounds. I don't see it having an issue with that, so it can easily accommodate heavier riders or riders who are going to be putting their kids on the back of the bike. I can easily see this bike being able to pull a trailer with two kids in it. So who is this bike really for? Well, that depends. I feel like this bike can be for anybody who just wants to ride around with their family and go long journeys. Uh, I can easily see this bike being used for work, for deliveries. I can see this bike being used for commuters. I was a little bit skeptical at the $2,000 price range if they're gonna be able to deliver on everything they've said and it looks like they hit the nail right on the head. It is a really well-rounded bike and they did a fantastic job at bringing it to market at under $2,000. If you're interested in this bike, please be sure to check the description down below. I'm gonna have an affiliate link as well as a coupon code from my viewers. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in a the comment. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again and have a great day.